Good morning. Today is Monday. It is 5 a.m. and I've actually been up for quite a while now. Not because I'm crazy and like I love to be up in the morning, but because I like passed out at like 6.30 p.m. last night. Anyways, today is a holiday. It's Labor Day weekend in Canada, so I don't have any school today, which means study time, maybe? I've got my frothed milk, my glass of water, my bottle of water, and my Starbucks tea. Yeah, I'm terrible at finishing drinks. I don't know why. Good morning, today is Tuesday, and it is week three of med school. Orientation weeks are officially over, and we're diving right into, I guess, the meat and potatoes of what the next two to maybe four years is gonna look like. Seriously, so busy here. I feel like I'm in Disneyland again. It's insane. So I just went to the bookstore to buy an envelope because I have to mail some checks for rent. And now I'm heading back to class and I'm about to learn how to take vitals. Woo! -hoo! So half our program is at the hospital downtown and half of them are still on campus. But I'm a little scared that I like got those mixed up. But 99% sure I'm in the right place. So I just got back from a vital session. Um, yeah, it was a super positive experience. It was a small group. I think there were nine students and a family physician who was teaching us how to take blood pressure, heart rate, and respiration rate. I really enjoyed the session. I thought that the physician had a very positive outlook sort of on life as well as his job. So that was really, really encouraging to see. Anyways, you got to learn how to use one of these things, as well as learned how to say the word sphygmomanometer. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but that's like, I guess, the actual name for the blood pressure cuff. Anyways, I learned a couple of cool things about the stethoscope. Um, I did know before this that the earbuds like face forward, they point in the same direction as your eyes. Otherwise, like you don't really hear things as well if you do it the other way. But what I didn't know is what the two sides of this thing are for and what they're called. So there's a bigger side, which is called the diaphragm, and it is optimized for high pitch sounds. Then there's a smaller side that's called the bell, and this is optimized for lower pitched sounds. I just thought this was like for small people, like children, <laughs> like a pediatric heartbeat, but I guess not. And another thing I didn't realize is like, you listen with it on the opposite sides, but you have to switch it. So what I mean is there's like a tiny dot, like an indent here, and that faces the side that the sound is coming in from. So right now the dot is facing out, which means you're gonna get the sound from the bell. If you turn it, there's like a little click. And once you've turned it, now the dot is facing the diaphragm, which is the larger side, and you get sounds from the diaphragm. So yeah, that was new to me, and that was super cool. So I went for a run today, and my plan after my run was to get some stuff off of my checklist, but I'm looking at my bed and it looks pretty nice. Maybe just, just a taste of sweet relaxation. What century is it? So 
So today was another great day at medical school. Um, I'm very tired though. I think it's middle of the week and Wednesdays are usually a bit heavy content wise, so I'm definitely feeling that today. Anyways, we started our morning off with CBL and I just have to say I love my group. We have such a fantastic dynamic. Everyone is very respectful. Everybody lets the other person speak. People don't interrupt. Nobody's trying to dominate the conversation. And I think we just gel together really well. So unfortunately, I think I only have one more week with this group and then we get all switched up again. So yeah, I guess just trying to enjoy it while I can. After that, we did a few lectures. There was one on fetal development and oh my gosh, there was a photo of a surgery where they like had the tiny little arm poking out of this person's uterus and around the arm was like the tiniest little tourniquet, had the tiniest little hand and they had like a needle going into the arm. Oh, I just love tiny things so that was like amazing to see. Uh, yeah, other than that we had a few more lectures, did the histology lab and then I came home, um, cooked dinner and ate dinner and now I'm going to try and get a few things done on my to-do list. Ugh. Good morning. Today is Thursday. One more day till Friday. Um, yeah, so today I have the morning off to study and I'm also going for lunch with a few other med students. We're gonna have dim sum. And then after I'm heading to the hospital actually to uh, learn how to do patient interviews. So super excited about that. Alrighty, so I got a few things off my to-do list this morning and now I'm heading to school because I need to pick up something from my mailbox and then I'm going to hopefully work on a module and then hop on the bus and head out for dim sum. We are doing clinical skills today at the hospital and I think we're supposed to dress like kind of professional, so yeah. It's currently 9.40 and I'm already eating my lunch. So I just about took a bus to the complete wrong end of town. Turns out there's two dim sum restaurants and I saw a route for one and it took an hour to get there. And then I like zoomed in on the map and I was like, what the heck? I thought this place was near the hospital. Turns out there's two dim sum restaurants with the same name. So it only takes half an hour to get there. We've got loads of time, but that would have been hilarious if I was like completely wrong end of the city and like waiting for all my friends and there's no one there. <laughs> Whew, dodged that bullet. Update, I am on the right side of town and now I'm walking to my destination. So finished CBL and just got out of the first lecture of Friday. Um, and then yesterday, during clinical skills, we watched and critiqued an interview and sort of went in depth about that patient-doctor relationship. So it is the end of the day. We ended with a histology lab where we basically look at slides, but we're looking at them on the computer, so it's like a photo of what you would have seen through the microscope. That's Scotty, my boyfriend, is coming over to visit, so I'm so excited. Anyways, gonna close the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Please subscribe and share this with anyone who you think may find it useful.